Hey, today's video, I'm going to be taking out my braids so I can expect my hair to actually be really curly. I'm hoping that everything held in pretty well. Obviously, there is a little bit of frizz at the top, but not a lot, which is good. I've only had these in for about, it's gonna be a week tomorrow. So I'm taking them out because they are getting a little frizzy and they're not looking as best as they were. Um, so I'm gonna take them out and then keep them out for a day. And then tomorrow I'm going to do another hairstyle and I wanna do it myself. And actually, hold on, hold on. I just thought of this right now. So I said I was going to be actually doing my hairstyle tomorrow, but I thought of a better idea because I do want to do the barrel rolls or the basket weave, whatever you guys want to call it. I used to do it all the time. I actually have a video on the Great Locks channel to where I did a video to where I explained how to do a hairstyle like XXX Tentacion, which it wasn't a braid. It was kind of just like mimicking it with doing a barrel roll or a barrel twist, basket weave, whatever you want to call it. So I want to try to accomplish that today. And the reason I want to do it today versus, you know, take these out and then redo it tomorrow is because what I can do is I can take a braid out and then do that hairstyle right there and then obviously tie it off versus creating the sections again because Candace did a really good job on creating these sections. So today is the day that we're going to do me showing you guys how to do a short hairstyle by yourself. So essentially just a quick breakdown. I'm going to unbraid one section at a time. Once I unbraid it, I'm going to do a, I'm not gonna do any more gel, but I will spray a little bit with water so that it reactivates the gel. That's the thing I really like about the Mocha de Gorilla is when you wet it, it reactivates the gel. So I'm just gonna wet it, do a retwist, and then do the barrel roll or basket weave, whatever you guys wanna call it. And I think, to be honest, it's gonna turn out a little bit better than the braids. Hopefully, as long as all the ends stay together. That's the thing about braiding and doing a barrel roll is that when you do a barrel roll, I'm not sure if that's the actual term, so if I keep repeating it, that's what I call it, is that I'm not sure if the ends will actually stay inside there, but I'm really hoping that they will. And I personally like the way barrel rolls look versus braids because it just looks more like a dreadlock hairstyle versus like this. It doesn't even look like I have dreadlocks. It looks like I have sections in the braided. And obviously that's mostly because it's immature and they're not to the full maturity, obviously with the dreadlocks. I've only had these in for about four months, maybe. Yeah, getting close to four months or a little over. I'm not sure, I haven't really tracked it. I mean, I have tracked it, I just haven't like looked back and seen when I actually started. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm really making this video to encourage you guys because I've never done this on this short of hair. Like I said, I really enjoy this hairstyle. I also wanna mention that today's actually two days after the last clip. I wanted to sleep in this a little bit longer and I didn't want to take them out quite yet. But I am going to be doing the same thing. I'm just going to be taking out one braid and then going back in with the hairstyle. Once I take it out of the braid, I'm going to be spraying it with a little bit of water and obviously just tying it in the back with a rubber band. So let's just go ahead and get started. And this first one will be more of like a tutorial. I am interested to see what my hair is going to look like outside of the braid. So to be honest, I think the biggest thing for me is just all the hair holding really well and some level of maturity coming out of actually doing the braids. I do want to mention this as well. There is a, a guy named Aiden. He actually took the Great Locks Masterclass, one of the people that took that class. If you haven't took it yet, you can also, you can always take it year round. And if you don't know what the Great Locks Masterclass is, essentially it's just learning how to do dreadlocks yourself, instantly lock up your hair, literally in a day. I was talking to another person who's in the Masterclass because you actually have direct access to me. I was talking to them and then they said that they did their whole head in an hour using the crochet hook. But I mean, that just comes from the Great Locks Masterclass. But Aiden, he has straight hair dreadlocks. And one thing that's really cool is that I believe he either does two strand twist or he braids his dreadlocks. And it makes his dreadlocks being straight hair look so much like more clean and mature and maintained. So if you have straight hair dreadlocks or your hair doesn't look as maintained or as good as you would like it to be, then braid it because it just makes it look a whole lot different because it gives it a different texture outside of the dreadlocks or outside of the braids, that was what I meant to say. But I'm nearly halfway there. One thing that I am noticing about taking out these braids is that they almost want to combine with each other and that's what you don't want to happen. If, especially if you have starter locks just like me, be really careful when taking out your braids. Um, obviously I would recommend using a mirror, but I'm just gonna no scope it. Because you don't want to unravel your actual starter lock, you just want to take out the braid. 
I would also recommend not to keep these in, I would say for over a month, especially during the starter lock stage, because it can result in dreadlock combination. If you keep laying on them, obviously if you wear a do-rag, it's not gonna be that big of an issue, but this is what everything is looking like over here. Feels good. I can say that I missed shaking my hair for like a whole week. So I actually had these in for about a week and three days. Actually about a week and a day, because I did it last Thursday, today's Friday. So this is what it looks like. So right off the bat, obviously you can tell that it's curly. Pretty cool. Um, I think curly dreadlocks don't look that good on me when my hair is short, but I think it looks okay when my hair is a little bit longer. But even then, I don't really care for you know curly dreadlocks. I mean, they look all right. I think it does make your dreads look a lot more mature. One thing you are noticing is the tips. They look very like just straight out. And that's because the, obviously my tips aren't blunted out. And the reason being is because I'm doing twisting with gel method. For all of you guys who do not know, I am doing twisting with gel to actually start and maintain my dreadlocks. So anytime I need to do a maintenance, I just do twisting with gel. I don't do any crochet hooking, which I've done tutorials on this hair before using the crochet hook, but I haven't done it on all the dreadlocks. So just strictly doing twisting with gel and then allowing it to lock up over time. And I mean, you guys are already seeing how good they're turning out and it just takes time. And I'm learning that as I go, that it's actually taking more time than I expected, which is completely fine. And the biggest thing to get out of that is just don't give up. But now let's go ahead and get started with this process. I'm gonna take my glasses off so I don't get them dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray, I'm gonna spray this whole section. Man, this water's cold, I should've used warm water. Now I don't have to put a bunch. All I'm doing is reactivating the gel that's already there. For all of you who know, I use Moco de Gorilla and it just reactivates that gel so I can pretty much reuse it, which I would actually recommend because you want, you want to stay away from using a whole bunch of products. But essentially what I'm going to do guys is a barrel roll or a basket weave or whatever you want to call it. Starting from the front, work my way back. So you start out, now let's see if I can do this because I'm about to do it like this. So I twisted one already. And the way you want to do this, you want to kind of roll it the same way. I haven't done this hairstyle since, you know, when I had my first set of dreadlocks and I would do this hairstyle all the time. So it's going to be different. It's going to be interesting, especially because my hair is short. So I got to figure it out as I go. I want to essentially roll everything up so I can roll these twice right here. And I'm rolling everything this way. So I'm taking the hair and rolling it upwards every single time. So you just grab the next hair, twist it a little bit, and then roll it up. And I am gonna be rolling it twice every time I go around, every time I reach a new hair. The reason being is because, because I want it to stay in the actual hairstyle. Cause if I don't, then I don't think it's gonna stay in too well. But essentially every time, you know, you grab a new hair, you want it to hold in the hair that you just pulled back. And so far, so good. And I, I think this actual, you know, the double roll method is what I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna call it, is just rolling it twice. Um, is helping out a lot because it helps seal it in. But every time you bring in a new hair, just make sure that it overlaps the last one you just did. Because if not, it's just going to make the hair kind of pop out if you don't do it properly. And I feel like the hardest thing about this is really just having to hold that position, especially doing it yourself. So I can say that over time, and since I haven't done like a hairstyle in such a long time myself, um, it can be pretty exhausting. So if you want to get used to this, like do it constantly, do new hairstyles every single week um, so that your shoulders get used to it. That's the biggest thing is just getting like used to actually doing it all the time. I'm going to give you guys some better views. So roll it twice. Hopefully my hand's not in the way. But it's, it's a really easy hairstyle. And this is why I prefer this hairstyle over braids because it's a very easy um, do-it-yourself hairstyle. Because essentially you just find the next dreadlock you're going to work with and you throw it in and wrap it because essentially you're just wrapping up your hair with your own hair it's very easy to do but like i said with with you doing it yourself it takes time Whew, it takes endurance but it definitely pays off i think the biggest thing about being able to do your own hair is that obviously one you don't have to pay someone else to do it which is never really a money thing but the world that we're in now i think things are just good to be able to do yourself now obviously things that you want to do is good to learn. So I'm creeping up on the end of this and we can call this a set because it's pretty much like working out. <sighs> like literally, like I'm getting pretty exhausted. Maybe I can like come down this way now. When I'm on my last hair that I want to wrap around. And the thing that what's good about going in the same direction the whole time is if a hair sticks out, all you have to do is go and poke it in 
in the direction that it goes. Now I'm not 100% sure how this looks, but I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. But there you go, just like that. Now I'm going to go look at it really quick to make sure I'm not showing you guys a whole bunch of baloney. Alright, looks pretty good. And like I said, this is my first time ever doing it in probably about two years. It's been a while. So, I mean, you guys can obviously tell it doesn't look the best, but obviously, like I said, it is my first time and I did it myself and that just pays off for itself. And it's very easy hairstyle. It only took me a little bit of time and I was explaining it to you guys as well on how to actually do that. I could do this in like five minutes. Well, no, I could literally probably do this in about, you know, maybe two to three minutes. But there you go. There was some that hung out a little bit. But like I said, going in the same direction the whole time, like twisting, you know, the same direction makes it easy for you to actually put that hair back in. Um, you can see, it goes pretty well. And depending on how long your hair actually is, you can do, you know, two, you can do one single one, you can do three, you can do how many ever you want. Your hair just has to be a certain length in order to do a certain amount. Um, with my hair length right now, it would be really hard to actually do two, so that's why I'm doing four. I would actually prefer two. That'd be really cool, but four will do. But I'm going to do the rest of my head, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward. Alright guys, hairstyle is done. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed me doing this. Now, mind you, this didn't turn out anywhere really near perfect, but it turned out, I'm just gonna leave it at that, it turned out. The biggest thing you wanna do is just keep those sections. I think the sections is the biggest part. And like I said, this is a way to have a hairstyle during the locking process, or a lot of people call it the ugly stage. Instead of like twisting with gel and then putting in duck clips, you can actually do twisting with gel and then do a hairstyle afterward. Like braids like you see me do, or you could do two strand twist, depending on how long your hair actually is. Cause you need a little bit more length to do two strand twist. Or you could do what I just did with the barrel rolls. One thing you are noticing is that some hair is actually sticking out, but I'm just like poking it back in. And obviously I can get in the mirror and actually make it look a whole lot better. But one thing I really do like about the barrel rolls, basket weave, whatever you want to call it, one thing I really like about this hairstyle versus braids is it has like way more volume. Um, obviously all these are sticking out to give it more volume. Um, you can either leave it like that or you can poke everything back in um, using a mirror. Obviously looking in the mirror and kind of working everything back in. That's what I really like about this versus the braids because braids really don't get that bulky. Or I would say it's harder to make braids look bulky versus it is using this hairstyle. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good. Especially doing it myself, especially with my hair only being about maybe three inches, maybe four inches. So a lot of progress and I'm super stoked that I'm actually able to start doing hairstyles. So for all of you guys out there who have short dreadlocks or starter locks, don't be afraid to try new hairstyles. I mean, really, what's the worst can, that can happen? Nothing really bad can come out of it besides you learning something new. So try it out and hopefully I explained it good enough. If you need more explanation or if you have longer dreadlocks, there is a video on the Great Locks channel to where I show you guys how to do an XXXTentacion dreadlock style. Doing the barrel roll or the basket weave, whatever you want to call it. Visit greatlocks.com to save time and money on your dreadlocks. The Great Locks crochet hook is perfect for making instant dreadlocks and maintaining frizz. The Great Locks interlock tool is made perfect to tame your new growth. And you can get both these tools now, either separately or get them together in the locking bundle. Want to learn how to instantly lock up your own hair or become a loctician and make money while locking up others' hair? Join the Great Locks Masterclass now on sale for only half the price. Or you can take the Dreadlock School class now for only $20. Click the link in the description to shop now. But you guys, hopefully you really enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below if you want to know any other tutorials on how to manage and maintain your dreadlocks, if they are starter locks or if you've had them for some time. And thank you guys for continuing on this journey with me because I just started my dreadlocks about four months ago. In the next video, I'll tell you what day I've actually started my dreadlocks so that we're able to actually accurately see 
how long I've had them. Maybe the next video will be a dreadlock update. So stay tuned for that. But hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.